Hello everybody, welcome back to some more Red Dead Redemption. So now we're here back with the family. We got some cows, I believe it was. We got a cattle. This is a nice place, I must say. Not a, a lot of land. And it's somewhat close to the city. Oh, this. Well, that's interesting. Come on. It's the floor. Get up, old man. I I am up. Get up. There, I'm up. Well, thank the good Lord you're back. Nothing worse for an old man than sleeping in the warm afternoon sun. You want a long sleep, Uncle? That can be arranged. It'll cost me less than food. You always was a hard and nasty man, John Marston. You always was a useless, conniving thief. And where's them cattle? Did you take them to pasture? It's coming around to that. When exactly? It's easy to pick on the elderly. It's easy, but it ain't dignified. Come on, old man. We'll do this together. Wait, so what are we doing again? All right, you stay front. There you go. Whoa. Let's keep it moving now. looks over great. Let's take him out to the plane. Whoa there. Come on. Slow down. Hustle on up. Thank you. Easy. Keep it moving. God damn it. Stop the herd.
okay? I think we're safe. Thank you. I thought we were done for. Just helping out. Now you take care. Come on. Oh, I know for a fact this is gonna cost me. When will you listen to me, boy? You could have got yourself killed. Shut it, old man. Come on. Let's get this herd moving again. Let's move him out. Yeah. Ah, yeah, yeah, we lost three. Urgh. Go. Where are we going is my question. We're supposed to be going the other way. <laughs> That way, that way, thank you. Come on, easy up now. Whoa, whoa. You look after the herd. I'll ride back. No thanks. You got your pound of flesh from me today. What? Come on. What you cooking? Same thing I've been cooking the past 15 years with the hope of poisoning you. Ain't working so well. <laughs> Not yet. I'll be honest, though. It tastes bad enough to kill a man. I never was much of a cook, but I did try to be a good wife. And you have been. <laughs> Given what we was and what we came from, I think we've gone and done okay. I look at Jack. I look at him, and I think we've been blessed. Maybe he can be something more. He's a good kid. He can be whatever he wants to be. He ain't gonna be no frontier gunslinger killing and running those gang, though. <laughs> that way's over. Railroads and government and motor cars and everything gone and done away with all that. And he ain't gonna marry no orphaned working girl running with a bunch of hucksters, neither. If he meets one like you, I hope he'll marry her. <laughs> Stop. For an illiterate gunslinger, you sure know how to make a girl blush. <laughs> God damn, Crows! John! You have got to go deal with them? They've broken into the silo again and are eating all the corn out from it. Of course, my angel. Wait. Get out of there! All right, all right. Go on! Scat! Hello. <laughs> <laughs> That's a beautiful map.
Ah, a ver, no que no. What are you looking at, old man? There's some Mustangs and some such out there beyond that ridge. Wondering if it was worth getting you and going around some of them up. Fair enough. We're nearly out of money. Ranch is in turmoil. We may not make it through the winter. What could we possibly want with some good quality horses? Come on. That tone of voice ain't so becoming on you. Makes you seem all pent up and angry like some black water would be business tycoon with a bad case of hemorrhoids. I'll give you a bad case if someone just shot me in the head if you don't hurry up. Are you gonna mount up, kid? All right, let's get after him. Come on! Why you gotta act so biggity all the damn time? What happened to what you? What were you gonna do? Just look at them horses all day? Well, God forbid I'd do anything around here without checking with His Royal Highness first. Yeah, you're real good at watching. That's about all you're good for, apart from bending your elbow. I can't do right for doing wrong. You're an ungrateful bastard, you know. I did my best when you was gone. Your best is like anybody else's worst. Come on. Getting old. I gotta start taking things easy. You've been taking things easy for 40 years. Whoa! I see him. Come on. How many more horses do we need?
I think that's enough for now. Let's get him back to the ranch. That weren't half bad for a couple of old reprobates. I learned a few things while I was away. Anything you wanted to know, you only had to ask me. You? What the hell do you know about any of this? I was a rancher myself back in the day. Firstly, I don't believe you. And secondly, if you was, why have you been hiding it all these years? Let's go! Look at these here horses. Mine is cream gravy. It sure will be nice to have some money in our pocket. Any money we make's going straight back into this ranch. Not down your gullet. <laughs> Where is he going with the horses? <laughs> Make sure there's enough fresh hay. We need to keep them strong. All right. Damn, a little gratitude wouldn't kill you. Not a bad day's work. John, we got a telegram from some lady friend of yours, a Bonnie something or other. Oh, Bonnie! Something you ain't telling me? Bonnie McFarland. She's a friend. Mm. Saved my life when I went after Bill and nearly got myself killed again. Oh, and now you two's in the habit of sending each other letters. How very nice. It weren't nothing like that. What's it say? I don't know. I can't... Well, you know I can't read. Give it here. You read that thing out loud. I ain't hiding nothing. Dear Mr. Marston, stop. Need corn sacks, stop. Emergency, stop. Weevils and moths ate entire county supply, stop. Can you help? Not exactly the most romantic request now, is it? I guess not. And she saved your life, you say? Yes, ma'am. Well, then you're gonna have to help her and her family out. We've got a plentiful supply of corn sacks over near the silo. Ugh, about the one thing Uncle didn't manage to have stolen while we was gone. Okay. Hurry back, John. And John, what's she like? Oh, uh, you know. A little bit like you, I guess. She's a woman in a man's world. Did we say the right thing? Did we not say the wrong thing? I'm confused. John, wait! Oh my gosh. <laughs> Maybe I should meet this McFarlane woman. <laughs> well, come on, man. Let's get going. I don't think I can let you go off again without me. Fair enough. I'm glad of the company. You only had to ask. Ask? I was waiting for you to ask me. I thought you'd want to keep an eye on the boy. Oh, while well, you were off cavorting with cowgirls in the next county? I don't think so, John Marston. You only just got home. That Jack has seen enough of me for a lifetime. So, is she married? This pony McFarland? No. What does she look like? I don't know. Pretty normal, I suppose. Normal? What? Normal like me? No. Normal as in two eyes. Mouth, nose, 
that kind of normal. Besides, ain't no woman fine as you. A little flattery. Now we're finally getting somewhere. If you find yourself in a hole, the first thing to do is stop digging. Another pearl of wisdom from John Marston. I sure do miss those. I never took you for the jealous type, Abigail. I ain't jealous so much as curious. You heard what she wrote. It's just a storm. She saved my life, and she was decent enough to me, so I owe her this much at least. How did she save your life, anyway? She found me half dead on the side of the road and took me to the doctor. Most folks would have left me there. Half dead from what? Bill didn't take so kindly to me visiting on it now. Bill never did like surprises. How was he? Same as he was when we left. Angry and dumb. Taking his revenge out on the world. People down there were really scared of him. Uh, Bill? You gotta be kidding me. He was only frightening if he was afraid of dumb fools. Bill weren't so bad, but when Dutch went crazy, Bill took it hard. For a while, we all thought we'd found something right. A better way to live, but it was just a lie. So you saw before they did. Maybe. But they was still kind of a family. A family that left you for dead. You knew the truth, John. And they hated you for it. Where did they take them? Who? Those government bastards. Where did they hold you and Jack? I ain't sure. They kept their eyes covered there and back. Can't have been too far from here, though. They treat you right? It ain't the first time I've had a gun to my head, John. You're forgetting your marriage proposal. Very fun. So, they learned pretty quick what would happen if they laid a finger on me. You came. Thank you so much. We lost the entire harvest. Miss McFarland, I'd like you to meet my wife, Abigail. Oh, ain't you quite the gentleman all of a sudden. It's a pleasure to meet you, Mrs. Marston. Likewise. Thank you for saving my husband's life, and for teaching the miserable goat some manners, among other things. I didn't teach him anything. I know better than to try to change a man. You should meet my father. Oh, people can change, Miss McFarland. John and I have to believe that more than anybody. This is a decent first harvest for you, John. You should be proud. That's good land you got there. How are you feeling, Mrs. Marston? From what your husband told me, it must have been awful for you. I've been through worse, and I knew he'd be back before too long. He can't cook a meal to save his life. Abigail, in my darkest hours, when I was most homesick, just the thought of one of your rat meat stews kept me pushing forward. Well, about as amusing as a weeping saddle sore, ain't he, Mr. McFarland? If you're gonna start yammering about women's work, John, I'd say you might be in the wrong company. I'd say so, too. I never felt so outnumbered. It's funny. <laughs> Is she jealous? I think she's jealous. Life. It's 
Hey, John. I guess I better go fix us something to eat. Wow. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm kind of like um, shaking. I'm wondering if this is gonna be the last mission or not. If it is, then it's gonna go out with a bang. And if it isn't, then woohoo! We get, to, we get to still do some few more things. Okay, so it looks like we can, it can only be available here at nine. But what's over here? Who are you? Excuse me, miss. Something wrong? Does it look like something's wrong? Well, you look kind of upset about something. Perhaps you don't understand what it's like to be disgraced as a woman. To have people gossip about you and turn from you in disgust day after day. People can be real unkind. That's for sure. Yeah. I'm Clara. I used to be a nanny for a family here in Blackwater. The father, he was always so charming. My fool that I was fell for him. Mrs. Thornton, his wife, kicked me out on the street as soon as I started showing. Mr. Thornton turned to drink. Not even a farewell for a dollar. So I have nothing. They will surely take my baby from me. Perhaps you could find the dissolute bastard. Get even a few dollars for me and my baby to find a home. I would be so grateful, sir. I'll see what I can do. That's messed up. How are you gonna do do the stuff and not take care of a child?
how fast a girl like you draws iron. I'm fixing to kick up a row with you, sir. Sure. It's your funeral. Excuse me. Excuse me there. Howdy. Come on there. Excuse me. You know a girl named Clara? Is that? Is she one of the waitresses around here? No, she was a servant at your house. The only servant we had was that wee darky girl, Sarah. And she left to join our people up north. <sighs> no, she helped raise your children. You and her had an intimacy of sorts. Look here, laddie. I'm not sure what you're accusing me of. I'm just here to enjoy the tables. Not to hear expressions against my character. I understand you want to keep this quiet. Just give me a few dollars so she can set up a modest household for her and the child. Did you put in your mind, laddie, or are you just a common criminal? A nerve, are you? You think you can blackmail me or insult me over this piffle? You! Outside! No! I just had a duel. <laughs> Someone might as well have this. I didn't want to do that, but it is what it is. Hey, Clara. Hello, mister. Got you some money. Oh, you are very kind, very kind. And how's Harold? How's my Harold? Didn't go so well. I'm afraid he's dead. Dead? <gasps> Unfortunately so. I, I, I must go to his grave. Afraid I don't know where that is. Oh, he'll be buried in the cemetery in the family plot. If I hurry, I could... I can make it to his funeral.
Yeah, I'm not sure if I have a few days. Depending if I'm, uh... If I'll keep playing this game or not. What's the book, boy? Uh, nothing, sir. What's it about? Well, it's an adventure, sir. Um, set out in the West, and it tells this amazing story of how people killed the savage Redskins, and how this man, this brave man, hunts the man who killed his father. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Talking of adventure, how'd you like to learn to track elk? Really big ones in the valley this time of year. We could use the meat. Well, I... I know you'd rather read your adventures. Trust me, this can be very enjoyable in its own way. I suppose maybe it's a little less dramatic. <laughs> so, let's go, come on. You may get to see me get gored by some massive wild beast. Then you can write a story about that. Very funny, Paul. I've forgotten how funny you was. Grab your things. And it's high now. Let's go. Come on. When he finds something, you stay back and I'll show you how to make a kill. Whatever you say, sir. You sure you're ready for this? I guess so. Now the trick to hunting is calm and patience. You gotta think and move like an animal to catch an animal. A rifle helps, doesn't it? Help don't stand still, son. Well, I wouldn't know. This is the first time you've taken me, honey. There's lots of things I ain't done with you, but I'm gonna try and make up for that. Let's go. Come on, easy up now. You don't seem too excited about this. What do you want me to say, Paul? Huh? be? Are you sure you're all right? I mean, I know all that business must have been hard on you. It wasn't nothing. I'm not a kid anymore. Well, it won't happen again. It's over. Until the next time, you mean? There won't be a next time. Don't make no more promises, Paul. I've heard them all before. Jack, he's on to something. <laughs> You know, one time I hunted a bear up in tall trees. You never seen a bigger animal in all your life. I read this story about a girl who was raised by wolves, and she'd hunt goats with them and everything. Sounds like a tall yarn to me. Taller than a boy being taken from his home and locked up in a dungeon? I'm just saying. Maybe you spend too much time with your head in those books. I thought you all wanted me to read. We do. So long as you're not, well, hiding from the real world. Look, I see one. Yeah, I see it. This one's mine. Stay with me, son. Once again, I cannot see anything. Come on. 
Come on. I'll show you how to cut the meat. I thought it was gonna get away. That was great, Paul. You just gotta wait for the right shot, not rush Woo! it. That's a big one. This meat should fetch a decent price in Manzanita. Last still. <laughs> Hope you were watching. It'll be your turn next. Go on, Rufus. Sniff us out a couple more. What are you doing? Let's keep moving. You can do it, Rufus. Come on. You ready to take a shot, Jack? Of course, Bob. Remember, it's all about timing. Wait for your moment. Don't snatch at I know, yet. I know. I saw how you did it. If you say so. All right. When he finds him, you take the lead. Hey! You can do it, Rufus! Whoa. Find another one, Rufus! Go get him, boy! That's it! Good boy! Go on, Rufus! Yeah. Slow it up now! Go on, boy! Good boy! Where is it, come boy? On. There they are! Jack, come on! Easy. Get after him. No escape! Stay calm. Don't rush it. That's it, son. You can do this. Quick, this way. Steady now. That's it, son. You saw how I cut the meat, Jack. Now it's your turn. I'll find him. I saw where he went down. Should be just over here. I know I saw him go down somewhere around here. He doesn't want to do it. Nice work, son. You're a quick learner. Now come on. Let's get this meat over to the tree. Okay. I was gonna get the other meat, but I guess we're not doing that. Now come on. Let's get this meat over to the trading post at Manzanita. Did you see me? You did good, son. Can't we shoot some more? Only kill what you need. We'll go out again soon. You know. I didn't think I was gonna like it. I told you you'd have fun, didn't I? Come on! Wait, where's Rufus? That's my that's the question. Alright, here we are. Jack, you wait here. 
I'll be just a moment. Always happy to see a customer. Hello there. Right, well, let's see what we can do for you. What am I sending again? I hope you enjoy a smooth ride. Thank you. Enjoy the journey. That's it. Hello. I'll go see you a stranger. How do you do, sir? All done. Let's head home. Uh, hello there, Mr. Marston. Never you mind. Enough to keep Rufus out of the stewing pot for a couple of days. And what about me? What do I get? You get to eat, son. But I did have to work. That isn't fair. What can I say? I'm another corrupt landowner. I'll be rich one day. Then you'll see. I sure hope so. And you can look after us when we get old. What do you mean, get old? You are old. We ain't old. Uncle's old. Well, he should be in a museum. Yeah, preserved in whiskey for the next thousand years. Hello, Mr. Let's go. So, you enjoy your first hunting trip? It was great, Paul. Herding cows, hunting elk, growing up, proud of it. I always told you I wanted to help. You know, you and me, we work hard. We can make something of this farm. I'd like that. And thank you for looking after your mother. She said you were very brave. I tried to be strong, like you told me. But Ma, uh, she can look after herself. She soon put those fellas in their place. I can only imagine. Oh, Paul, that was so much fun. I can't rightly believe it. Just like in the books. We'll do it again soon. Now get to your chores. Oh, good. The dog is safe. Okay. So that's how it's done. You're tensing up. I'm not. You are. Your back's tense and it's making the rifle jump. You're holding it wrong. Here, let me show you. I don't need you to show me, Paul. I guess not. No show me and you'll just, you'll just run off again or something. It's better I teach myself. I ain't going nowhere. Whatever you say, Paul. Don't be like that. Sorry. This wolf's been after the herd. Gotta get out there and scare him off. You wanna come with me? It's safer with two. Okay. If they hear of Rufus, I'm gonna end all of them. I don't care what you all say. All right, let's go. Stay on Rufus now. Come on. Treat me like a kid. That's what fathers do. I'm just trying to look out for you. You can't just decide to be a father when it suits you. What about the rest of the time? Come on, Jack. That ain't exactly fair. One minute you're telling me to be a man, the next you're telling me I'm just a boy. It's gonna take a while for things to get back to normal. Normal? Was it ever normal? I don't know. But it'll get better, son. I promise. Slow down. I'm sorry, Paul. 
don't need to be. I don't mean to be moody. I'm glad you're home. I really am. It's just every time you go up, well, I worry you're not coming back. I swear, if it was down to me, I'd never have gone anywhere. They can't make you, can they? It's complicated, but seems they can't. Yeah, I know. I wouldn't understand. Just some things you start and have to be finished. Let's go. What was your father like? I didn't really know him. He died when I was just a boy. Died of what? Look, he's on to something. Don't give up now. Let's keep moving. Follow me. Let's go. Bob, is Uncle really your uncle? No. At least I sincerely hope not. He's probably lots of people's father. You're gonna land us both in the dirt. Slow it up now. Well, why do you call him Uncle then? Folks always did. Probably because he's always been older than everybody else. He was old when I was a kid. He was old when I was a kid, son. God must have had some purpose for keeping him on this earth. But I sure as hell don't know what that is. Find yeah. us a wolf, boy! He's found him! We should head back now. We got out further than I thought. Get in! How many did we kill? They won't be after our cattle for a while. That was some good shooting, son. So can I go out hunting by myself now? Hold on there, cowboy. You ain't ready for that yet. One step at a time. Ah, uh, please, boss. We'll go out again soon. Get something nice for your ma to cook. I reckon I can kill a bear, no problem. I ain't gonna tell you again, Jack. You don't leave the farm without checking with me first, you hear? Uh, yes, sir. I hear you. Oh, can I ask you something? Of course! Were you a murderer? What? That place where they held us. Ma shouted at a guard one time, and he yelled that you were a murderer. Maybe. But I live my life believing there's a difference between killing and murdering. Not for the person who's dead. No. And I guess I've been both. That's how it goes. We all do what we have to to survive. Sometimes it ain't pretty. But in the end, we pay the price for what we did. Like those rustlers who attacked our cattle? Exactly. Look, when I was a kid, things were different. Rules were different, but that's over now. Hey. Turned into a decent hunter, son. But try to stay out of trouble. Condolences. Oh, my dear Harold, I can't believe he's gone. 
I knew his frequenting that gambling boat would be the death of him. The death of him. Oh, Harold Thornton, I miss you. I see. I heard that Doc Trollop Clara laughing at the funeral. I can't understand how strangers can be so cruel. The world is a sad and terrible place. God preserve his soul. I'm sorry for your loss, ma'am. Take care. <laughs>